Hello and welcome. I'm Anderson Rohr, a 3D artist from Brazil. Today, I'll walk you through how to bring your 3D scanned face from Copresence app into Reallusion Character Creator 5. Copresence is available on the App Store. It allows you to scan your face with impressive detail, capturing high fidelity geometry and 4K textures. Once you've followed the in app tutorial and scanned your face, head over to the Copresence web app. There, you can download the Character Creator 5 compatible file. Besides the 3D scan of your face, Copresence app also creates a strand hair in a lambic format based on your real hair. But at the moment of this tutorial, Character Creator 5 doesn't have support for importing Alembic files, so we'll be selecting a hair preset in CC5 later. After downloading, simply unzip the folder. You'll see these three files. Now, let's open Character Creator 5. Go to File, Import, and again, Import. Then select your avatar.fbx file from the unzipped folder. When prompted, choose Prop, Keep Original, Convert all. Next, head over to the Synth tab and select the root node. Now we'll use the Headshot 2 plugin. Select Mesh and click Start Head Generation. In the next step, click Load and choose the file named cc underscore mapping.ini. It came with your downloaded mesh. You'll now see the alignment points mapped onto your scanned face. Let's continue by clicking on the Head Gen tab. This part might take a few moments, so feel free to stretch or sip some coffee while it processes. Once that's done, move to the final step, Refine Mesh. Click Attach to Body, then choose a body type that fits your style. You can also change the texture size. Finally hit Generate and you're done. You can now delete this head mesh in the bottom. In order to use some new Character Creator 5 features, like importing MetaHuman Animator facial animation, we'll need to convert our digital human into a CC5 HD profile. To do that, go to Window and open the Facial Profile Editor tab or hit F8. Click Edit Expressions. You can see our character has a CC4 extended profile. Let's click here, select CC5 HD and click Apply. I don't want to save the old facial profile, so I'll click No here. Now our character has a CC5 HD profile. Click Edit Expressions again to close it and apply changes into your character. Now let's move on to an incredible new feature of CC5. Import MetaHuman Animator Facial Animation. First, if you are working with Unreal Engine 5 and MetaHuman Animator and want to import some MHA facial animation into CC5, you'll need to have Reallusion Auto Setup plugin for UE5 installed. Please check the Reallusion tutorial for more in-depth about it in the description of this video. With the Auto Setup plugin installed into your UE5, right-click on your facial animation sequence that you've created using MetaHuman Animator and then click Export CC IC Facial Animation. It will export a CSV file format with your facial animation. Back to CC5, go to File, Import, Import MetaHuman Animator Facial Animation. Select your CSV file. You can also include the head rotations. Character Creator 5 has a lot of new morphs that you can play with. Let's check it. If you can't see the Modify tab, go to Window and enable it, or hit F6. Inside the Modify tab, click on this icon named Morphs. You'll see there are a lot of sliders for the entire character. You can create a very skinny character. Maybe skinny the back as well. Or let's say, a muscular character with the muscular abs, muscular chest, and muscular shoulders. I like this version of myself. It looks like I go to the gym every day. Also, you can play with sliders for non-human bodies. Let's change some lights and dress up the character. Look at those new HDIs. Pretty awesome.
you now have a digital human that looks just like you, ready for animation, storytelling or game development. Let's say I'm on a quest searching for some rare items. What about you, Andy? Me too, but I'm missing one. I think it's over there, but I can't cross the river. Enjoy bringing your Copressence avatar to life in Character Creator 5. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.